Hi there, it's Mrena from TinyMCE. Welcome to the TinyMCE how-to tutorial series. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add the Markdown plugin to your TinyMCE editor. So whether you're a developer or a content creator, this plugin will make your life a lot easier by allowing you to paste Markdown directly in the editor. Let's get started. All right, first things first. You got to make sure you have TinyMCE installed and set up in your project. If you haven't done that yet, check out one of our previous videos on how to get TinyMCE up and running. I will drop a link in the video description with detailed instructions on how to get the cloud version up and running. But here's a quick recap. First, you have to include the TinyMCE script in your HTML file as such. And then once you have TinyMC set up, you can initialize the editor in the script.js as such with some basic configurations. I have it pointing to the text area in the HTML, as well as have added some plugins like code for some basic configuration. With TinyMC set up and running, we're ready to add the Markdown plugin. This plugin allows you to paste Markdown content directly into the editor and it will automatically convert it to HTML. So what does this look like? I have here an example of a few markdown options like H1 through H6. Today, if I copy this and paste it to, into my editor, it does something like this. It's not truly a markdown format. And even if it is markdown format, it hasn't really converted it to, um, you know, the proper headings like H1, H2. To add the markdown plugin, you actually just need to modify uh, the init's function in TinyMCE and add markdown to the plugins option as such. Now, let's do the same thing. And let's see the markdown plugin in action. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this content again. I'm going to refresh this a few times and I'm going to go ahead and paste. And voila, as you can see, the markdown content has automatically been converted to HTML. And you can actually look that H1, H2, H3 are indeed uh, converted in HTML to H1, H2, and H3, which is great. Now, this is not the only thing that the Markdown plugin does. Another cool thing that it does is you can customize the symbol that Markdown plugin recognizes. For example, you can set up key value pairs for special characters like copyright and trademark. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to do that, I would need to add Markdown symbols as an option over here. And then I'm going to say if it's a copyright symbol, I want you to recognize with that with a capital C. If it's a trademark symbol, I want you to recognize with that with a capital TM. All right, we're ready to do that. And now I am going to copy this over and paste it and I can see that both copyright and trademark have been recognized by Markdown. And that's pretty cool because if I go to the source code, I can see that it's copy and trade, which is the HTML equivalent of that. And that's it. You've actually successfully added the Markdown plugin to your TinyMC editor. Now let's do one final example where I copy this entire file that has various types of ordered lists, unordered lists, and so much more, the copyright symbol and headings. And I just want to prove to you that it actually works right out of the box. And voila, everything has been copy and pasted into Markdown and translated into HTML just like that. So I hope that you found this tutorial really helpful. And if you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. The Markdown plugin is available on all paid TinyMCE subscriptions. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more TinyMCE tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Happy coding.